I am Anil Kumar and in this particular video we will try to understand how to evaluate algebraic expressions when we have more than one variable. So in this particular case we will take two variables and let our variables be a and b. right? So for different expressions I will give you different values of a and b and you need to evaluate those expressions. So let's begin by saying that let me write down few expressions here and then we will see how to evaluate them for different values of a and b. So to begin with let's take a simple expression a plus b and we will evaluate them for a and b values as okay let us take constant values of a and b let us say a is equals to uh, values 1 and 2 and b is equals to uh, let us say 3 okay so a we have two different values so what we will do is we will add we will do a plus b but we'll use two values for a 1 and 2 and both the time we will use b as only 3 so, so a plus b if I use 1 then I could write this as equal to 1 for a and b is 3 so 1 plus 3 that gives me 4 if I use 2 then I have to write this as 2 plus b is 3 right I get my answer as 5 you get the point so that is how we can do the operation right let's take the other set which is a times b right in this time let's do this so a could be 1 or 2 so that means 1 times we could write in brackets also it helps 1 times 3 is 3 and then if I use 2 then I could get 2 times 3 which is 6 correct let me write down now the values as a square minus b right so a square minus b means a could have 1 or 2 as your value if a is 1 then be 1 square minus b is 3 so we'll write 3 so 1 square is 1 1 minus 3 is minus 2 the other one could be with 2 so we have 2 square minus 3 2 square is 4 4 minus 3 is plus 1 you get the idea so likewise you can evaluate each algebraic expression for the given values of the variable in this case we have two variables a and b correct so that is how we have to do now let us take a variable as 3 times a divided by b in that case what do we get first value is 1 so it will be 3 times 1 divided by 3 now 3 times 1 is 3 that divided by 3 will give us 1 on the other hand if I use 2 as a so it becomes 3 times 2 divided by 3 3 times 2 is 6 6 divided by 3 is 2 I hope you have understood the concept right so here is a question for you so what you do now is you can do 2 times a minus b right so write two different values depending on a is 1 or 2 correct so you can do this exercise so this exercise is for a and b equals to 1 and 2 right now we have some more questions for you it is just to practice how to evaluate algebraic expressions with different values of a and b right in this case what I will do is I'll write down the expression and I write down their values later so you have to evaluate a square minus b square and I have a equals to 3 and b equals to 2 find the value of this expression so you need to substitute 3 for a 2 for b right I could actually use different variables for example I could write x minus half of y now in this case let me give you x as let us say 10 and y as 4 right so evaluate this expression for the given value of variables right so we are taking two variables but we are giving them different 
names, right? So let's evaluate this one. Half of P times Q minus 1. Now in this case, I'll give you P as some even number, let us say 6, so that you don't land into fractions. And I'll give you Q as, let us say, 3. Evaluate these expressions. And the last one for you is P square minus half of Q, right? Okay, in this case, let me write P as equal to 1. And let me write Q as equal to 6. Write down this answer, correct? Now, here is a thinking question for you, and that is, if, if I write that A divided by B minus 1, in that case, I'm giving you different values of A and B, you can find the answer. So, A is equals to 4, and B is equals to 8. So, find out the answer for this particular question correct so now it is a practice question for you you can solve this and move on to the next video where we will evaluate slightly more complicated algebraic expressions i hope that gives you good practice thank you and all the best